Hi guys, welcome back. So I don't know if you noticed, but there is something missing on my face. Since I went a little bit overboard with my makeup, I wanted to review a little bit of a highlighter. So it is from MAC Cosmetics. Um, and it is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter. So uh, we're gonna go to this bad boy right here, which by the way, this is such a weird packaging. I absolutely hate the packaging. <laughs> First off, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the most horrible packaging they, they, they could have like thought. I'm trying to open this and it doesn't work. Like you really have to hold it and then and now I'm not able anymore because I'm thinking about it. And the way to open it, it's really bad, is that you have to open it up, like pull it on the side, and then there's a little crack. Oh my God, I it was open. Okay, so I got it, finally. Um, other than the packaging, which they should put some lines to open it, but that's another story. It is very beautiful. Um, I've been using it a lot and the design in it, like the kind of swirling, it's still there. So this is a baked powder, which means it is more fine, more soft and gentle, like the, <laughs> like the shade says. And this shade in particular, I really, really like it because it is close to my skin tone. I feel like it's gonna blend with everything. It is not too pink and it is not too golden. It's like the perfect color in between. These are the types of brushes that I use to apply my highlighters. You I don't really have a fan, you know, like the fan like this. I'm not using it anymore, so we're gonna keep it at that. And I usually use this big brush, so I'm gonna go with this one. This is a little bit more packed, a dome, and is kind of pointy. So the brush really makes a difference. It picks up a little bit of the pigment. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, or my face is gonna focus. Hi. And then we're gonna put it right here. So this is a more, I would say natural kind of highlighter, but you can definitely like build it up and it is such a pretty formulation. You guys, up front right about now. Like look, do you see this glow? It's supposed to be natural, but girl, it is everything. Everything, 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 everything. Okay, so you can see it is absolutely stunning. Okay, bam, we, we got the cheek cheek out. Um, it's just really beautiful. Like I have nothing bad about the formulation of the product. It does last a long time, all day long. You know, it doesn't really enhance that much texture because it is a mineral powder and it's infused with minerals. Um, it's very, very fine. So it just like do weird things, you know, where you don't want it to, to go. If for example, I take something more fluffy, let's say like this, it's gonna pick up the pigment a little bit more differently, you know, like it's not as on the thing. And then when you take a little brush like this, like I'm gonna show you guys, and then you kind of swirl it around, it just gives like a natural glow. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it's very, very subtle. So um, this, is a way to like, if you wanna put it all around your face, because you could, since this is very, very fine, you just go with a brush that is fluffy, very airy, and it's just going to give that really nice glow from within without looking powdery. It's just like infused into your skin. That's what it does. And it gives just a natural glow. This is so beautiful. I love the formulation. I don't wanna, like it's a review, but I've been saying in my videos that it is literally my favorite highlighter of all time at the moment. So this is just, I have to be upfront with you guys, but I'm just showing you how to use it. And we're gonna talk about more of the details after I apply this goodie on my skin. So we're gonna go with a flat brush. Sometimes I go with a more flat brush like this one. And then I'm just gonna pack it. And it gives a similar result, except this is more bam, because we applied multiple, than this one. This one, I feel like you need less to have the full on effect because it is flat. But either way, both sides looks absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, this color blends really well with you know, my skin tone, it blends well with the crazy amount of bronzer that I put on my face. <laughs> I, I don't know, I went overboard with that, with that, but it's okay. So, and you can continue to build it up until it's like foils on your skin. So the thing is, once it is on your skin and it is like into your foundation, 
you're not going to be able to just <laughs> like remove it. You know, you really have to blend it out first and then it's going to really get into your skin and then it's going to stay there for all day long. This lasts super long on the skin. That's what I love about this formulation as well. It's like it mixes really, really well with your skin. So the thing is with this highlighter as well is that if you have too much of a dry foundation, if you have very, very dry skin, a lot of powders, like any other powder, it might not stick as much. So if you want to have like a really blinding highlighter, you could be using, for example, like some setting spray, MAC Fix Plus, another setting spray, depending on what you have at the moment in your collection or whatever you're using it could be like a skincare mist as well you know like something like rose water like just use whatever you have so I'm looking at you from the front right now and you don't really see any grayish areas on the side so that's one thing when I try a highlighter I really hate when you look up front and then you see like a weird line on the side but this one doesn't do that when you turn it's like oh it's coming on your skin and it's just like you see the beautiful highlight coming and it's just blinding you you know so this is beautiful but now we need to talk about the price <laughs> okay so get ready get ready for the price this is 45 dollars canadian which it is oh my god this is so expensive but then if you really love this highlighter you will be using it all the time it is so beautiful and this is this is like one of the perfect shades for me and that's why I think I gravitate towards it so much the way it just lays on my skin the ways that it blends with my skin with any foundation I have different types of foundations so I have like neutral foundations I have more pink foundations I have yellow foundation like this one is a bit more yellow um and it just blends with every single one of my foundations it's crazy and I don't look crazy it just looks absolutely beautiful from every angle and I just really recommend this product like I'm obsessed like I'm really obsessed and it's rare that I say that I'm obsessed with one product like I love a lot of things I love loving a lot of things but this I'm obsessed like I'm really really obsessed so get this bad boy right here and yes okay and I have acne like I told you guys uh, as you can see through my skin I'm not hiding anything here no filters as always I don't like putting filters but look I have some acne here and a lot of pores dry look, let me just smile for you and see the it doesn't really create any lines it doesn't enhance any texture like like if I make some wrinkles it doesn't really enhance anything and even on my pimple, look, I have some on my pimple right here. It doesn't, it doesn't enhance it that much. So this is the perfect, perfect, perfect highlighter. If you have, you know, textured skin, if you have a more mature skin type with lines, fine lines, wrinkles, this is going to be great for you. This is the product for you. This is the product for everybody, literally everybody, because fine powder, beautiful, amazing, and that's the end of the story. So I highly recommend this product. Go check it out. Go buy it. You need this. You're never going to be able to like not use it ever again. This is beautiful, especially this soft and gentle color. It is. Oh. And don't get the lighter one. Don't get the lighter one. Like there's a lighter one with like blue and pinks and yellow in it. Like sparkle. Don't. Don't. This is not, this one is not good. Just get this one, soft and gentle. It is different from the other mineralized skin finish. I touch, touched them all, I tried them all, and this one is the best. So this one, and if you're a darker skin tone, there are other colors, darker, that are absolutely beautiful as well. So I don't remember all the names, but you know, you can go check out in store, on the website, everything. So anyways, best highlighter ever in the world. Go check it out and yeah. So if you liked it, make sure to like, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on a beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and a bunch of other stuff. So thank you so much guys for watching. I love you guys so much. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye guys.